To Union County now, we told you in January about a Jackson County power plant hoping to lower its tax value. That reassessment would mean a lot less money for a nearby school district in Union County, putting it in financial jeopardy. News 3's Craig Schott has been following this story. And Craig, what is the latest development? Well, a hearing yesterday in Jackson County, Board of Review, let both parties state their case. The Grand Tower Energy LLC power plant was hoping to lower its value from more than $100 million down to $7 million. In February, the Board of Review lowered the value slightly, but the power plant is still hoping to cut it even more. Grand Tower Energy Center could possibly cause these doors to close for good and put 400 students in different classrooms. Do I think it's going to be lowered that low? Absolutely not. Is it a possibility? Yes. If that does happen, that is the worst case scenario for us and it, you know, we will not be able to operate. A hearing yesterday with the Jackson County Board of Review allowed both the Shawnee School District and the power plant owners Rockland Capital to state their case. And that was one of the points of yesterday's hearing was for both sides, the, the school district as well as the taxpayer to present their cases to them in terms of what they believe is the value of that, of that power plant. Now the decision lies in the hands of the three-person Board of Review. I can tell you that the Board of Review right now has assessed the property at the value that was provided by the appraisal done by the Shawnee School District several years ago. Clover Hill says there have been nerves around the school for months. We don't like being in limbo. You know, the, the fear of the unknown typically is worse than actually knowing what's going to happen. They used yesterday's hearing as an opportunity to teach students about real world issues. We uh, were fortunate enough that our high school civics class was able to attend the hearing yesterday as a lesson. Some of whom walked away with a sour taste. A couple of them were upset because, you know, the other side didn't seem to care about, you know, the closing of the doors of our school. You know, that's a possibility. They were upset about that, which is understandable. Leaving them to wonder where classes might be this fall. I tried contacting Rockland Capital for comment, but the company did not return my calls. So when will the Board of Review make its decision? It's expected to come in the next two weeks. After that, either side can appeal the decision to the Property Tax Appeals Board in Springfield for the final say in the matter. All right. Thank you, Craig.